What's going on guys, it's your friendly neighborhood lover of TV and film 89. Welcome to Nerdy Before It Was Cool. Today's video, we're going to be talking about James Gunn. In an interview with the New York Times, he was asked about his run with DC and also was asked about the Joker and what his plans were for him and if he planned to bring him in the fold. James Gunn basically said he is not interested in bringing the Joker in at all. James Gunn said in our quote, there's all sorts of characters that I'm interested in and the Joker just isn't one of them. He's been done well so many times by so many different people. I'm more interested in taking characters that haven't fully had their shot. So that quote fully makes sense coming from him. I mean, this is the guy who made Guardians of the Galaxy for Marvel. They're completely obscure characters. They were like C or D list comic book characters for the most part. So it makes sense that James Gunn, one, went with the Suicide Squad, and two, is looking to bring in more obscure villains who haven't really got their shot in the DCEU, or maybe not in DC live action films in general. And me as a DC fan, man, I don't mind that at all. I think DC has some of the most dope, interesting villains of all time. So even some of their most obscure characters and obscure villains are just really, really cool. And they don't really get a lot of shine. I mean, everybody wants to write a Batman Joker story. I was super hyped for the Deathstroke movie, but we're probably not gonna get that. We haven't seen a Lex Luthor, well, a good Lex Luthor in, <laughs> in the DCEU yet. We don't have a Penguin in the DCEU. Yeah, Penguin is gonna be coming in later in the Matt Reeves universe, but there's gonna be something that's completely separate from the DCEU. So I do wanna see some more villains come into the fold in the official DC Extended Universe. But he went on to say that he feels extremely connected to Harley Quinn and also that Harley Quinn has been the easiest character that he's ever written. I don't know how I feel about this per se because as much as I love Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, I don't necessarily like the whole drunken idiot stumbling into luck winning every situation she's in just because she's Harley and she gets lucky. I don't necessarily like that angle, but I do love Margot Robbie's performance and I do want to see her story continue. But Harley Quinn is so tied to the Joker that I don't see how you can keep telling her story without introducing more of the Joker in the future. I mean, we've only seen the Joker for a total of like six or seven minutes in the DCEU. If you count the Snyderverse stuff, then maybe 10 minutes. And that just doesn't sit right with me. So I'm hoping that he changes his mind in the future. And even if it's not Jared Leto, brings in somebody to continue and fill that Joker void in the DCEU. When asked by the New York Times why he didn't include the Joker in the Suicide Squad, he basically said he just didn't fit the story and he didn't see how he could be beneficial to the group, which I understand that. But if you've seen the Suicide Squad animated movies, you know the Joker wouldn't be trying to help the Suicide Squad. He would be trying to get Harley back on his side at all costs, like they did on the Assault on Arkham story. So he would be not a helper of the team, he would be a further interference to the team by trying to get Harley back at all costs. And I think that's gonna be a really dope angle if somebody does try to insert that in to the lore of the Suicide Squad, whichever one they tend to go with. But yeah, man, he's been talking about extending his villain verse in the DCEU, and I'm excited about that. Like I said, I would love to see more DC villains pop up in the DCEU. But anyways, y'all, what do y'all think about this as a whole? Do you think that he should include the Joker in the future? Do you think the DCEU is okay without a current Joker right now? Do you want Jared Leto back? Whatever you want to happen in the future with the DCEU, Suicide Squad, and the Joker, let me know down in the comments, man. It's your boy, Eddie Knight, and I'm out.